Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and this is Nalmar James Gado. For today's video, let's talk about center of mass, momentum, and impulse. So in this video, you are expected to differentiate center of mass and center of gravity. Relate the motion of center of mass of a system to the momentum and net external force acting on the system. Relate the momentum, impulse, force, and the time of contact in a system. Center of mass, a point in the system in which the total mass is concentrated or it is a point of a body in which its mass is concentrated. To determine the location, center of mass of two or more masses lying in horizontal axis and whose location is relative to, to origin is denoted by x sub cm is equal to m sub 1 times x sub 1 plus m sub 2 times x sub 2 plus dot 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 all over m sub 1 plus m sub 2 plus dot 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 where m sub 1, m sub 2 are the given the masses and the x sub 1, x sub 2 are the distance of the masses respectively from the origin. Center of gravity or CG or geometric center. It is the point in the system in which the total weight is concentrated. Take note, the center of gravity of any regular objects such as sphere, cube, or rod is at its center while the center of gravity of irregular shape is at the point near to the center of its mass. The center of gravity of two or more objects is denoted by x sub cg is equal to w sub 1 times x sub 1 plus w sub 2 times x sub 2 plus that 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 all over w sub 1 plus w sub 2 plus that 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 where w sub 1, w sub 2 are the given the weights and the x sub 1, x sub 2 are center of gravity of the objects respectively. Momentum or linear momentum, denoted by P. Property of moving object, it is a vector quantity, inertia in motion, and the product of mass and velocity. Momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Conservation of linear momentum. In the absence of external force that act on a system, the total linear momentum in the system will remain constant. Momentum lost is equal to momentum gain. Okay, the first one is impulse. Impulse is the product of force and time interval. Impulse is equal to F times T. Next one is the impulse momentum theorem. Impulse produces change in momentum. Force times time is equal to m times v sub f minus m times v sub i, where m v sub f is equal to final momentum, and m v sub i is the initial momentum. Example, consider two masses, m sub 1, is equal to 25 kilograms and m sub 2 is equal to 53 kilograms. If the two masses are positioned in x axis as shown in the figure below, determine the center of these masses. Okay, solution. So, isulat muna natin kung mga given. We have m sub 1 which is 25 kilograms, m sub 2 53 kilograms, x sub 1 o yung distance ng ating uh, object, okay? na merong 25 kilograms mula dun sa origin ay 85 centimeter. Or, so dahil nga, dahil nga MKS system tayo, yung 85 cm, kapag kinonvert natin siya sa meters, 0.85 meter. And yung distance naman ng object 2 natin na merong 53 kilograms mula dun sa origin, meron siyang distance na 10 cm. Or, in meters, we have 0.10 meter. So, for the formula of center of mass, we have x sub cm is equal to m sub 1 times x sub 1 
plus m sub 2 times x sub 2 all over. So we have m sub 1 is 25 times x sub 1, 0 0.85 plus 53, yes, 53 times 0 0.10. All over 25 plus 53. So, makaka-cancel yung unit na uh, kilograms dyan. Okay, so the final answer is X sub CM is equal to 0 0.34 meters. Okay, 0 0.34 meters from the origin. Okay. Yun yung center of mass. 0 0.34 from the origin. Number two, what is the momentum of a 55 kilogram student running at a velocity of 4 meters per second? Okay, number two, solution natin. P is equal to M times B, or mass times velocity. Mass natin is 55 kilograms times yung velocity, 4 meters per second. So we have 220 kilogram meter per second or, or 220 newton seconds. Okay? So same lang yan. Number 3. A 0 0.48 kilogram ball is moving at a speed of 5 meters per second. How much force is needed to stop the ball in 0 0.25 second? Okay, for number 3 solution, we will use the impulse momentum theorem. Ft is equal to mv sub f minus mv sub i. Force times time is equal to mass times velocity final velocity minus mass times initial velocity. So the given R, mass is equal to 0 0.48 kilograms. Uh, initial velocity is equal to 5 meters per second. So sinabi doon na uh, how much force is needed to stop. Meaning to say that our final velocity is 0. Time is 0 0.25 seconds. How much force is needed to stop the ball in 0 0.25 seconds? So the unknown is force. So let's plug, plug in this formula. F times 0 0.25 is equal to mass times 0 minus 0 0.48 times 5 and this is 0 we have f is equal to 0 0.25 okay we have here negative 2.4 negative 2.4 divided by 0 0.25 is equal to okay negative 9.6 newtons Okay, bakit siya naging negative? Okay, bakit siya naging negative? Kasi yung final velocity natin ay 0. Meaning to say na magi i stop to. Okay? Yung ball. Okay? magi i stop yung ball. So, kahit gawin na natin tong positive, kunin natin yung absolute value. Pero ibig sabihin nun na kailangan ng force na 9.6 para ma-stop natin yung ball. Okay? So, gawin nyo ng absolute value. Pero ibig sabihin lang kasi nung kaya na negative, yung ating ball is going to stop. Okay? 9.6 newtons. Number 4. A 2.5 gram bullet is fired from a 0 0.75 kilogram gun and, and had a muzzle velocity of 350 meters per second. What is the velocity of the recoil of the gun? Recoil, 
a sudden backward movement, especially in firearms, when it is fired. Change in momentum as a result of collision. Number four, solution. From the conservation of momentum, we have momentum loss is equal to momentum gain. M sub 1 times V sub 1 is equal to M sub 2 times V sub 2. Or momentum before is equal to momentum after. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung 2.5 gram na bullet, okay, again, yung babasahin ko yung question, no? 2.5 gram bullet is fired from 0.75 gun and had mass of velocity of 350 meters per second. What is the velocity of the recoil of the gun? So, so kung mapapansin nyo, di ba, pag yung mga sa mga nagpa-firing, okay, let's say, ito yung barrel. Okay. Tapos, yung bala lumabas. Yung bala daw may bigat na 2.5 grams, okay? So, yung bullet, ito yung bullet natin, o. Oh. Ayan, papalagyan natin bullet. Meron siyang 2.5 grams, okay? Is fired from 0.75 kilogram. Ito naman yon yung 0.75 kilogram, yung barrel mismo. Okay? So, almost 1 kilo na siya and had a muzzle velocity of 350 meters per second. So, yung 350 meters per second, sa bala yun. Okay, once na na-pull yung trigger, so yung bala merong 350 meters per second. Ito yun. For example, ganyan. Ito yung, ito yung velocity, yung, va, yung bala, velocity ng bala. So, dito tayo. So, 350 meters per second. Okay? So, mangyayari, di ba, kapag nag-recoil yung gun, yung recoil kasi, di ba, once na naputok mo yung barrel, so parang may, parang may backfire doon sa, ano, no, sa likod, yung parang may for, force na magagaling doon sa, ano, doon sa likod ng barrel, di ba? Parang pa, ganun, di ba, pag pinaputok mo, parang may, ano yun, may force na magagaling doon sa likod ng barrel. So, yun yung tinatawag nating recoil. So, di ba may, ano, may, may velocity din yun, hahanapin, yun yung hahanapin natin, yung recoil, yung velocity ng recoil, nung barrel, okay? So, do, sa part na yun, dito na yun sa barrel, okay? So, may given tayo dito, bullet, tapos yung mass, tapos yung velocity, dito mass, tapos yung velocity naman nung, nung pag-recoil ng barrel, okay? So, we have M sub 1, we have 2.5 grams, so ang problema dito, yung 2.5 grams ay kailangan i-convert muna natin siya into kilograms. So kailangan natin siyang i-divide. Uh, take note that 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. Okay? So i-divide natin ito sa 1,000. So we have, or i-move natin yung decimal point ng pakaliwa ng tatlong beses. Okay, 0.0025 uh, kilogram, kilogram na siya, okay? Kasi kailangan natin convert sa kilogram. Velocity, yung V sub 1, yun yung 350, okay? 350 meters per second. M sub 2, yun ay, yun yung sa part no sa barrel, okay? Yun ay yung part no sa barrel. So we have 0.75 uh, kilograms. And then yung hinahanap natin dito, yung V sub 2. O yung velocity nung pag-recoil ng barrel. Yung may force na, di ba, pag pinapotok mo, parang may movement pa siya dun sa likod ng barrel. Dahil nga dun sa bala na nag-release. So, kailangan natin divide both sides by by 0.75. Okay? So, kunin nyo na yung product niyan, tapos divide nyo sa 0.75 kilogram. 0.75 Kilogram. So, mga canceling unit na kilogram, ang matitira ay in terms of meters per second. So, we have V sub 2. V sub 2 is equal to 1 point, round off na natin, 1.17 meters per second. Okay? 